Return to the world of fast-paced spell-slinging action with the new 3D visuals and enhanced co-op play in Wizard of Legend 2. This roguelite sequel to the hit original has you playing as wizards taking on the Trials of Legend, a series of unpredictable and ever-changing roguelite challenges set in the mystical floating lands. Players can experiment with powerful arcana spells, representing elemental forces like fire, water, earth, lightning, air, and chaos. You could mix and match these to find the perfect combinations. The game is in early access on Steam right now and supports two players locally, but the full version will support four players and will most likely come to all platforms. Welcome to the Multiplayer Minute, the monthly show where we talk about all of the recent multiplayer releases and what we have to look forward to in the coming month. Let's get on with it. In Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, players can dive into the explosive action with over 180 characters from across the Dragon Ball universe. This high-speed 3D fighting game brings the anime to life with authentic beam clashes, rush attacks, and powerful ultimate moves that can decimate planets. I've never been into watching Dragon Ball Z, but if you're a big fan, here you go. You can play solo through classic story arcs or jump into various tournament modes, fighting online or with friends in the hyperbolic time chamber. The game also includes a mode to relive key moments through cutscenes or create your own battles and share them with the community. Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Stunt Mayhem has players unleash their favorite monster trucks to perform epic stunts and smash through wild arenas. Featuring real world Hot Wheels monster trucks, the game offers thrilling arcade style gameplay with modes like career, stunt, destruction, and boss mode. Take on intense bosses like Crushzilla and battle it out in the iconic Stunt Zone arena. The game includes head-to-head -head multiplayer challenges, allowing players to show off their skills and rack up high scores with 20 fan-favorite trucks, each with their own unique skins and spectacular signature moves. If you're interested in spending $50 on a game that will most likely leave you disappointed or you just have a huge fan of Miraculous around you, you could buy Miraculous Paris Under Siege. Players step into the roles of Ladybug and Cat Noir in an adventure to save Paris from Shadow Moth's wave of villains. This action-packed game blends acrobatic combat and parkour as players switch between the two iconic heroes. It supports up to two players with drop-in, drop-out co-op and is available on all platforms. AK Zolotl released a year ago but just launched a local co-op update. Now you could team up with a friend to blast through waves of enemies and share epic power-ups in this top-down roguelike shooter. Players control an axolotl armed with some serious firepower. You'll be facing chaotic, randomly generated biomes filled with unique enemies and bosses. With the recent update, AK Zolotl has added over 20 new weapons, new items, biomes, bosses, and overhauled some of the systems, including axolotl training, cooking, and weapon mods. You can unlock new weapons by bringing baby axolotls back to your pond. This game is very reminiscent of, say, Enter the Gungeon, and I'm personally excited to give it a try. While these games are pretty excited, we had a ton of other games released in October, so here are all of the games that we talked about in last month's Multiplayer Minute. Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel. Lego Harry Potter Remaster. Undisputed. Nico Jerico, The Magical World. Mario Party Jamboree, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants Unleashed, The Smurfs Dreams, Keep Keepers. With that out of the way, we can now move on to all of the exciting games coming within the month. For Stardew Valley fans out there, the new update will be coming to consoles on November 4th. This update introduces a wide range of new features and events that I don't have time to dig into, but there's a lot going on here. I also noticed that you can now have up to eight players on Steam, which is pretty nifty, though it's probably online not couch co-op that would be insane to have eight screens of couch co-op going on there TMNT Splintered Fate released on consoles earlier this year, and we had the chance to try it thanks to a free key from the publishers. Personally, we were not huge fans of this one as it had really long loading screens and wait times between each room, but if you're a big Turtles fan, you may be interested in this one. In this roguelite adventure, you and your friends can play as all four Turtles in both local and online co-op modes to rescue Master Splinter from the Foot Clan. Each Turtle has unique abilities and can combine the power of the elements to build powerful customizable loadout. The game features randomized rooms, power-ups, and bosses. It supports local co-op for four players and will be available on Steam come November 
chapter 6. In River City Saga Three Kingdoms Next, you can battle your way through feudal China in classic beat-em-up style. The game comes with a deep story, but you also get the opportunity to ride the red hair bike through enemies in your way. And you can even customize it and upgrade it to become something else. Of course, you also have a major ability to affect all of the enemies on screen, whether it is elemental fire or water, or calling down some generals you've worked with before to fight side by side with you. This one will be available on November 7th on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and PC. If you're a big retro fanatic, Irem Collection Volume 2 may interest you. This comes with Gun Force 1 and 2 and Air Duel. This retro shoot 'em up will give you an intense blast of classic action, and Gun Force 2 supports two player local co op, so go out there and enjoy a good retro time on PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch come November 14th. In a future Earth transformed into a land of Lego bricks and nature, players join Aloy in a quest to protect her world from a digital demon and a group of sun worshippers. That's right, it's Lego Horizon Adventures. We had the opportunity to fly out to California and play one hour of this game, and we are both incredibly excited to actually dig into the full game. You could journey through recreated environments inspired by Horizon, from dense forests to vast deserts where dinosaur-like machines roam freely. Players can unlock and play as other colorful characters like Varl, Tirsa, and Erend. Each bringing their own unique skills to the hunt, we did notice that Varl had a spear that went through enemies while Aloy just had a bow that shot one enemy at a time. You can also decorate Mother's Heart and give characters hilarious outfits. This game is packed with sights for both LEGO fans and Horizon fans alike. From towering tall necks to mysterious cauldrons, all beautifully built from LEGO. And it still has all of that LEGO charm that makes the game incredibly funny to play through, and it's just gonna be a good time, trust me. Spirit Mancer is an interesting deck building hack and slash game. You play as a demon hunter trying to escape a demonic realm after being accidentally transported there. Armed with a variety of guns, melee weapons, and and spirit cards, you'll capture and summon demons as allies to help you defeat the Queen of the Inferno. Breaking enemy shields, capturing their spirits, and customizing your own deck with over 100 spirit cards for unique abilities to use. Venture through diverse 2D pixel art landscapes from beaches to volcanic strongholds and bring a friend along for local co-op. Between battles, you can also unwind with minigames fishing and side quests, all while you work your way to find the mystical key to return home. The game will be available on PlayStation 5 and PC come November 22nd. And it's also planned for Switch, but I'm not sure if the release date is the same. We have only a couple of games left, so I want to say a quick thank you to AeroZoom, who sent us a bunch of acoustic foam to help make our videos even better. I'm really excited that we were finally able to get it up for this video here, because our room has been sounding a bit echoey, and I also have a great opportunity for you guys to pick up some foam for yourself if you do any sort of gaming or any other sort of audio recordings. If you use our code az co-op with a hyphen in the co-op as well, then you can get 10% off site-wide. Snow Bros Wonderland marks the return of the beloved Snow Bros series. Now with a modern twist as it transitions from 2D to a modern 3D isometric style. Players are armed with ice pellets to transform enemies into snowballs, which can be kicked to clear out hordes of foes. This new installment enhances the gameplay with the ability to chain attacks for maximum damage, and features massive boss battles that will challenge your snowball skills. Additionally, it will support up to four-player co-op gameplay, which is a nice surprise, as previously the trailers looked like it was only going to support two players. Set to release on November 28th to PlayStation, PC, and Switch. Now we can take a moment to look at some games that I saw get announced. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers got a release date of December 10th. This is a fresh beat-em-up with classic Power Rangers in the retro style. It comes with a clean retro pixel art look or a CRT filter to make things look all the more retro. The game has you playing as five Power Rangers with up to five players locally or online. There are fan favorite enemies from the TV show scattered through the levels, as well as some events that fans from the show may recognize, though they may have a little twist in there. This felt like a classic 2D brawler and will include some unique levels with roller coasters, arcade style shooting and driving sequences, and you can even pilot the original Dinozords and use the Megazord to fight gigantic bosses. 
Star Wars Episode One Jedi Power Battles has players embark on a fast-paced side-scrolling adventure to reclaim the Theed Palace from legions of droids and other enemies from the Phantom Menace. You could choose from iconic Jedis like Mace Windu, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Qui-Gon Jinn, or unlock additional characters like Darth Maul and Queen Amidala. The game will feature classic couch co-op for two players throughout its 10-level campaign. There will also be options for classic or modern controls, customizable lightsaber colors, and nostalgic cheat code. This game will be available on all platforms come January 25th. LEGO Horizon Adventures is probably my favorite game on this list, so I highly recommend checking out this full video where we talk about our entire experience playing the game in person. I cannot wait to see you guys over there. I love you guys. Y'all are awesome.